Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Illegal Alien Racing. I'm out here at Dallas Karting Complex. And today I'm gonna go over a little bit of detail on the shifter cart, how to shift the gears. This is a shifter lever right here. This is where you shift the gears at. It's uh, six gears with first, neutral, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth in that order. So like right now we're neutral. So to go to first gear, I push it forward, now I'm in first gear. If I want to go to neutral, I click it about half a step between first and second, and I'm in neutral. If you want to go to second, you pull back, third, pull back, etc. I go back to second, you push forward to first, push forward. So that's how the, uh, the gears work. This right here is the clutch. Now you don't need to use the clutch when you shift gears. All you do is let off the gas and either pull the uh, lever towards you to go up in gear or push it away from you to go down in gear so you won't be on the uh, throttle at that point and you don't need the clutch. The only time you need the clutch is when you're at a complete standstill, the engine's running and you want to take off. So just like a dirt bike or any motorcycle, you pull the uh, clutch in, let's say you're in first gear, give it some gas and you slowly release the clutch while you, you uh, steadily give it a little more, more gas and you'll, you'll slowly roll off and get going. There's no on or off switch on this cart, so you have to push it in order to start it and pop it in the first gear. So usually, you know, if you have someone with you, uh, they can push you and what you do is you just pop it in the first gear, give it a little bit of gas and uh, the engine will fire right up. No clutch, that's it. I'm gonna push start it. It's the same thing. I'm gonna put the cart in neutral and start pushing it and run alongside, jump in the seat, uh, give it a smidge of gas and just push the uh, gear in the first gear. The cart should fire right up. I don't need the clutch for any reason. I should just be able to take off from that point. It's in neutral right now. I know it's in neutral that rolls back and forth. If it was in gear, it won't roll. Gotta be in neutral. So I'm gonna grab here and on the steering wheel here, push the cart and jump in, pop it in the first that way, give it a touch of gas. It should fire right up. And again, I don't need the clutch to get going. All right, here we go. That's it. All right, I'm gonna show you how to take off from a complete stop. So I'm in first gear right now. I'm going to grab the clutch, keep the engine going, put it in neutral, which is in between first and second. You'll feel it kind of click. I think that's in second gear, right there. So the way you uh, test it out is you let off the clutch slowly. Cart doesn't move, you're in neutral. So to get going from a complete standstill, I'm in neutral right now, grab the clutch, put it in first gear forward, giving it gas, slowly let off the clutch while you give it a little gas. That's it, it's kind of like a motor, just like a motorcycle. Now to switch gears, let off the gas completely and pull towards you, you go up in gear. And that's it. Now to go down in gear, you just let off the gas completely and push it away from you, forward. You can hear the engine switching gears. All right, so when you're upshifting, you want to hit every gear going up, but when you're downshifting, you know, you can let off the gas completely and hit it, let's say twice, to downshift to get in the right gear for that corner. All right, so you're probably wondering, how do you know when to shift gears? Well, there's two ways that I've determined that. It's by the sound of the engine, when it's really high pitched, it's time to switch gears, and also you can feel the cart. It uh, stops accelerating or stops pulling. When it does that, it's time to shift gears. See right there, I wanted to shift gears, but I didn't, I didn't shift, but you could tell that it was time. See, it wants to switch right here. I don't want to keep it floored because I don't want to put a lot of stress on the engine. So it wants to switch right there. If you don't switch, that's what you're going to get. It's really torquey, but you know, the, the, the acceleration 
you to stop. All right, if you don't downshift, what's going to happen is the cart's going to not be responsive at all. So I didn't downshift. I'm full throttle. The cart's not doing anything. I'm going to downshift. Watch what happens. See how it's a lot more responsive? These shifter carts are just incredible to drive. They have a power band, and the kind of cruise that accelerates, all of a sudden just speeds up, and you'll feel the cart. Just accelerate. It's incredible. Uh, it'll throw your head back if you're not paying attention. All of a sudden, it's like turn on the boosters. Uh, I want to show you kind of the uh, the gradual uptick in power. I'm going to stay in gear on four right here. I'll let the car accelerate by itself. You'll hear the engine just kick up. Of course, I switched gears one time, but but I'll give you an example of, uh, of the engine winding up. One of the most impressive things about a shift record on the brakes, I want to get on it here and just play on the brakes here. At the end, you can see how quickly it decelerates. Here we go. That's pretty impressive. You see the card, when you really mash on the brakes, it, it kind of jumps back and forth like this, but it stays in a straight line. And it throws you forward in the seat a little bit, but uh, it's a really impressive cart. All right, now stopping the cart's really easy. There's a couple of options that you've got. I'm back in first gear. So you come in. I'm going to grab the clutch just to show you for this right now. If I let off the gas and just quit giving the gas, the cart will die. If I pop the clutch, the cart will die. If I just came in and didn't do anything and just applied the brakes, the cart would die. That's how, that's how you kill the cart. So right here, I'm just going to um, um, let off the gas and the cart will die by itself. That's it. All right, here's another way of killing the cart. I'm just going to just let it die. <laughs> Did nothing. See how it just died? That's another way to kill the cart. All right, guys, I hope that answered some of the questions that you may have had in regards to uh, shifter cart and how to drive one. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And if you have, again, thank you as always. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>